Hey everyone. It seems like it's been a while since I've done one of these. Welcome back to another vlog. Life has been pretty hectic for me lately. Some people think I'm overworking myself, and if I'm being honest, they're probably not wrong. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the various jobs I have. It's well known that people with disabilities often face multiple challenges finding employment. Before I get into what I do for work, I want to tell you a little story. At the age of four, an insurance company deemed me unemployable without even meeting me. At four years old, they made that determination. Of course, I don't remember this, but that's what my parents tell me. That has always stuck in the back of my mind because I knew I wanted to prove them wrong. Growing up, my parents had the same hopes for me as they did for my younger sister. Of course, they knew my life would be a little different, but they hoped I'd get a job after college. Not only was it their hope, but it was my expectation of myself as well. All of my friends had jobs, so I should have one too. Admittedly, after graduating from college with a degree in advertising, my employment journey has been a curvy road. But let's fast forward. Today, I'm a communications specialist for In Control Wisconsin. I manage the Self-Determination Network, which is an online community for people who support self-determination and self-directed supports. I also help edit their website and do graphic design for promotional material. It's perfect for me because I can work from home and it's something I'm very passionate about. Well, I'm a go-getter by nature. If someone tells me I can't do something, I usually like to prove them wrong over and over. It's just the stubborn side of me. These jobs are paid. I'm an independent contractor, which means I am self-employed. I have to do my own billing and I'm responsible for keeping track of my income. I have the flexibility to work around my care shifts and other medical appointments which is ideal. What I love about the organizations I work with is that they're very willing to provide the accommodations I need to succeed. Simple things like communicating over email instead of by phone. Having someone else take notes. Being willing to read the chat box in Zoom meetings instead of relying on me typing everything I want to say out on my communication device. Knowing they understand what I need is huge. I do a lot of volunteer disability advocacy work as well. I'm a host on this YouTube channel. I designed the logo and monitor and replied with the comments as well. I also sit on some disability advocacy boards. Between all of this and hiring and scheduling all of my own caregivers, one would think that would be enough to keep me busy. I'm still learning how to manage everything, but also take time for myself. As I may have mentioned before, I'm not a procrastinator. When I'm given a task, it's very likely I'll get started on it as soon as I can. I can't take time for myself and relax if I have something important that needs to get done. It's just how I am. I knew I could prove that insurance company wrong. I think I have. Like I said, getting to where I am has been a curvy road. I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to work. It's given me purpose in life. Do you have a job? What type of accommodations do you need? Comment below. Thanks for watching this episode of Stewing with Stacy. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. See you next time.